is civil unrest just 14 days away? You heard that right, 14 days away or two weeks. What else is in two weeks, guys? 14 days or two weeks from today is going to be the presidential election. It will be a time, we'll go down in the history books, no matter who wins, will go down as a time, as one of the worst times in American history, unfortunately. And that's just the way it's going to be. And as some people are saying right now, it will get worse before it gets worse. And that's just the way it is. Things are not going to get better. Things are just going to continue to get worse. And that's not being a pessimist or anything. That's being a realist and realizing what's going on. And with reports saying that there's supposed to be 50,000 mercenaries supposed to enter the United States here at some point over the next several months, we're going to see how that implements and how that... Uh, does for population and for those of you guys who have not seen according to the reports the military has been authorized to use deadly force against civilians in certain scenarios so make sure that you pay attention to what actually happens and what's coming forth here as we continue SHTF guys are we 14 days away are we you know 140 days away are we 14 years away nobody really knows well, thanks for sure, though, guys. SHTF and civil unrest is going to happen. Civil unrest is going to be something that is a given. It's just going to happen. America has never been more divided than it is right now. So you got to get prepared. you got to get prepared now. People are selfish. They're self-centered. And they really don't care about anybody besides themselves. And that's just it at the end of the day. Americans have really been pampered for too long. And I'll admit that... We do have it way too good, and a lot of people will never admit that. But, at the end of the day, knowing that and knowing that we need to be prepared for what's to come, because things will get a whole lot worse. A lot of people are saying that we're living in the end times right now. We could be, but if you think about this, the arrogance to think that you know that we are actually in the end times, you have no idea if we actually are or not. So stop trying to assume and stop trying to guess. A lot of people are saying because this is happening and this is happening and this is what it says and this is what's happening and this will happen in the end times. Everything that's happening right now is stuff that has happened before. It's just being amplified. It's being reported on a lot more because you have so many news outlets and you have so much more information being thrown in your face right now. So think about that as we continue on. Are we in the end times? We very well could be. But that's above all of our heads, and that is really something that you don't need to worry about because we are in the end times. There's nothing that you can do about it. However, you can't prepare to, for events that are going to come. And don't assume just because they say it's the end of the world or the end times in general, it could just be the end of the times as you know it. So prepare in that aspect of things to where... For things that you know that you can control. And in other reports, they are saying that three days of food and water and things are no longer sustainable. Even for, or suitable, for anybody, you, you should have at least two months of food on hand and water and everything in between. All the supplies that you need to be able to survive just basic, you know, things from Weather events to anything in between. Basically, SHTF events. Minor SHTF events, I should say. In reality, you need years and years worth of supplies and years and years worth of food. That is not possible for a lot of people, and that's perfectly all right. But with this being 14 days away from the presidential election, and with things along the lines of the FBI and other organizations saying that we aren't even going to get to the presidential election, and they're expecting utter chaos, and they're expecting mass events, and something big coming in the form of attacks. You've got to be ready and attacks on our, on our infrastructure, guys. Now, think about this. China, they make all the parts for our power grid, pretty much. You think they're not putting things in there to be able to cripple the United States' power grid with the flip of the switch? They are putting computer technology in there to all they'd have to do, it'd be over with like that. Like that. It would be that quick, guys. It would be that quick to the point of where all the electronics would be fried. Forget EMPs. They don't need EMPs to do that. All they got to do is flip a switch and our entire power grid goes down. And with this push of electric cars and all this other, that's really just, yeah, That's you really need an electric car in that event and everything. Really think about that, though, guys. Our power grid is so unstable now that they're literally telling people not to use power and other parts of the world, and, and Texas and everything. 
parts of our world, I should say, here in the United States, over in Texas and over in California and other areas, they're actually telling them to not use power because during this time and this time because it's putting a lot of strain on the grid. But they want everybody to have electric cars. It makes a lot of sense, right? Now, think about this at the end of the day and think about other things as we continue this march on towards what is going to be the most chaotic presidential election in history. No matter who wins, something big is going to happen. Something big and bad is going to happen. Be prepared. Keep your loved ones close. Don't travel too far away from home. I know people that are actually going to be taking vacations around the time of the presidential election. Not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. We don't know what's going to happen. I'm not saying to live in fear, but you have to be smart about this. And you have to be able to move and you have to be able to realize the world's a cruel place. And a lot of people out there tend to do you harm. We have the Trinidad Aragua gang still running rapid. We have these mercenaries coming in. We have our own U.S. military authorized to use deadly force against its own citizens for the first time ever. Really think about this stuff, guys. Plus, we have World War III, China and Russia, Civil War 2.0, which will be civil unrest. Plus, with a country that has never been more divided, you know, in years past, a huge event has pulled everybody together. Will that happen again? Will it be able to enough to pull people back together again in a huge deal like World War III? I don't think so. But only time will tell, and you're going to have to see. We're supposed to be the United States of America, but we are the divided states of America, and it's really getting old. Really need to pull together and realize that we are one American people. The government is not the people. We the people are the people. Like it says, we the people, in order to form a more perfect union. We the people. I didn't say we the government. It says we the people, in order to form a more perfect union. Really think about that, guys. We the people. We, as in you and me and everybody else, are the people. Those people that you're fighting over, you know, in Washington and everywhere else, they don't care about you, they don't care about me, they don't care about anything. They all have their own agendas. But something at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you need to take care of yourselves, you need to take care of your families, and stop worrying about politics. Seriously. It's out of your control, and it, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. We're all here for such a short time anyway, and only two things are guaranteed in life. We live and we die. Those two things are the only things that are guaranteed, and that is the things that really should ring true to you. So... Stop worrying about petty things. Stop being divided over things like your opinions and things like that. It's okay to have opinions. Everybody can have their own opinions and opinions vary. That's fine. Everybody can have their own thoughts. But stop trying to change everybody else that doesn't think exactly like you. If we all thought the same, it would be a very boring world to live in, guys. We are 14 days away from the presidential election. 14 days away from possible utter chaos. Could happen before, could happen after. And honestly, with everything being talked about and being said, it's could very well happen before so get ready now you could have less than two weeks before something big happens and guys i'm not trying to scare you but it's going to be serious and you being prepared is going to make the difference between you surviving it and you perishing in it and you know a week and two weeks is not that much time so if it does happen like that make sure that you're prepared don't panic and go out and panic by but make sure that you have enough stuff to get through at least a couple weeks for a couple of months if you can swing it and if you're not already prepping you're really behind and you need to be putting back supplies right now think about the 17th of the day though guys 14 days away make sure that you are getting spiritually ready above all else because that's the only thing at the end of the day that really matters god bless each and every one of you and we'll catch you in the next one guys thank you for watching gr exploration and discovery Subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads. Thank you for watching GNR Exploration and Discovery.